And just like any other person that bounces a check to Food Lion or whatever, you'll be in the local district court. Everybody will laugh because the amount they'll say and they'll be like, oh, he's from the Chase Bank Lynch thing. And they'll all laugh. The judge will probably have a few smart things to say to you. And he'll probably say things like, okay, one year in prison, suspend all, three years probation. You have to do a you're a bad person class. You have to pay back the money and they'll make you do some community service or something dumb. Most people end up never paying back um, court fees and fines. So all that money goes to zero. Um, Most of these people who did this were in a more desperate situation. So I doubt they had great credit and were ready to buy a house. So with that being said, the only thing these people really lost is that the ability to buy a house. Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and did y'all know that the Chase Bank glitch, aka fraudsters, were losing their government assistance based on what they did? It's pretty crazy, but I've never even thought about that. They won't qualify for government assistance, they won't be able to have a bank account, certain jobs will not hire them. This Chase Bank money glitch thing is getting deeper and deeper. So one woman who is a fraud analyst decided to tell us about some of her calls and how she is having to report people that are on government assistance that did this Chase Bank fraud, aka check fraud. And if you saw my latest video, I did show y'all that a lawyer said that everybody that did this is going to jail or at least doing probation if they're lucky enough. But one man did say that there's no way that Chase can put all of these people in jail. Some people are saying that 2 million people did it. Some people are saying that 100,000 people did it. But he says no matter that number, there's no way that Chase can put all of these people in jail or prison. So if you're ready to get into that, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Chase supports the government. Anna Delvey Sorokin should have been the blueprint. I've had to start reaching out to the government entities to let them know that fraud has been committed. Fill out them applications, boo. It says, have you committed a crime? yes or no you check that box that said no but now i gotta go back in and say yes i weren't thinking i'm sorry you just weren't like them babies need a house to stay in like today is really emotional emotional because i've been in a position where i needed that government assistance to literally make my life work and now i have to report people that may truly need it some people may be frauding other systems too but for the i don't know if you really truly need it or what your situation is and now i have to report it as just today is today is a rough day for me and i'm just like this is more than just check fraud at this point people's lives are literally being affected day by day and it's like direct deposits are hitting and the money's being taken they don't have access to it so you can't pay no bills the money that you truly are about to get paid that you're working for is gone anymore for other benefits and it's just like y'all i'm going to tell older people what happened due to someone else's stupidity and then having to also start reporting the crimes If y'all can't tell, I'm emotionally drained. And this is, I think, day five. And I still have a whole lot to still do. Today's not a good day. This is actually really sad. Just think about all those children out there that need the assistance. And now that their parent or parents did this, now they don't get it. And did y'all know that if you have a joint bank account with someone that did this Chase Bank glitch, your account is affected too? Y'all gotta see this. Y'all, I would be upset too because being a joint account holder means that you respect, you bear responsibilities of everyone that is on the account. Doesn't matter if they are a minor, if they're a grown adult, if it's a elderly, it, it don't matter. You are responsible for whatever happens in this account. 
So when this fraudulent check came in, don't know if the account holder that I was speaking with knew about it or what, but because we did have the some funds that were in savings account and the direct deposit that she was waiting for um, did offset it, that's what we have, we have to satisfy it before we can make anything available. And she says that she didn't know, but I don't know if you know. I don't know if you were part of it. I, I don't know. Um, but yes, that would be heated too. So this is your PSA of making sure if you have a joint account, you know that person in, in and out, or you're going to take that responsibility of whatever happens in that account. How about you just don't have a joint bank account with anybody? Just have everything separate on simple just this check fraud like this if it is you know other transactions you would be jointly responsible and sadly there's nothing that we can do about it if it is the other person doesn't know um because you still man you still took on that responsibility when you signed up for joint accounts um and it does let you know when you sign up that you are responsible for anything that happens in the account. So that is just my soapbox PSA about <laughs> this comment. But just be mindful of who you open accounts with. Um, and just remember that you are liable. But I'm about to start day, day six. Y'all pray for me. Pray for my mental health. Because yesterday was a rough day. Um, I know that I'm going to have a lot more reporting to do. But... I'm praying that God just gives me strength to make it through um, mentally. And yep, that's it. All right, talk to y'all later. See you in my vlog for day six. Bye. Just imagine owning a joint bank account with another person and they do something crazy like this, but you're responsible because your name's on it too. Now this next man does say that Chase can't put everybody in jail or prison. It's just not going to happen. Even if it was 2 million, 100,000 people, he says that they can only maybe in prison, maybe 100 people. I'm begging all these people on TikTok, stop making videos about these people with the Chase money glitch that they're going to jail because it's just not happening. First, I know it's check fraud. It's not a money glitch. I'm just using a pop culture reference. Secondly, I've been in and out of this system for the last 15 years. I've met thousands of people incarcerated and seen hundreds and hundreds actively prosecuted in front of me. And let me tell you a little bit about what, it, what happens. The first thing they look at over every other extenuating circumstance is was this crime violent? If it is not violent, you are automatically moved into another category, regardless of your past criminal history. He says he's been in this industry for a long time, but let me know in the comment section, do you believe what he's saying? Once you are in the nonviolent category, then they look at your past criminal history. And just to let you know, all these people were banking with Chase, who is one of the most discerning banks when it comes to letting people join. So I don't think any of these people had major criminal history before they joined Chase. So you're looking at, and I'm just using a number, internet chatter, I'm hearing, they're saying it's up to a million, two million people. I'm hearing it could be 10,000 people, but let's just say nice number, 100,000 people. Let's say that's how many people did this. The amount that are be prosecuted and actually see one day in jail would probably be about 100, maybe less, 65. These are first time offending, non-violent, financial crime having offenders if what he's saying is true then how come so many lawyers are coming out saying that people are going to jail what do they know that we don't know i've heard some of these people took eight hundred thousand. if that's the case they're going to come after you but if you got sixteen thousand dollars you're not going to see the inside of a prison cell, which is the vast, 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 vast majority. I really doubt anyone really got 800,000 at all. The way these banks are set up, whether or not you were cleared in your account or not, they just don't have that kind of cash available. So if you got 15 or 20,000, you're probably okay. Also to prosecute a federal case to the fullest extent, 
cost nearly $20,000. And the feds have a 97% conviction rate. They only prosecute things that they want. They only prosecute things they can win. And they try to prosecute as many of them without using as much court time as possible. So the feds won't prosecute any of these people. One or two maybe of high numbers if somebody got something ridiculous. But this will all get moved down to local DAs. I do think that a lot of the people that came out after everybody found out this was happening and were posting screenshots of their bank account, I do feel like a lot of them were just lying. I don't think they got out as much as they were saying on those screenshots. Definitely not. And just like any other person that bounces a check to Food Lion or whatever, you'll be in the local district court. Everybody will laugh because the amount they'll say and they'll be like, oh, he's from the Chase Bank glitch thing and they'll all laugh. The judge will probably have a few smart things to say to you and he'll probably say things like, OK, one year in prison, suspend all three years probation. You have to do a you're a bad person class. You have to pay back the money and they'll make you do some community service or something dumb. Most people end up never paying back um, court fees and fines. So all that money goes to zero. Um, most of these people who did this were in a more desperate situation. So I doubt they had great credit and were ready to buy a house. So with that being said, the only thing these people really lost is that the ability to buy a house. If this man is actually right, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that are relieved right now. Because after that lawyer getting on here and telling everybody they're going to jail, hearing this, they might feel better. But I don't know if it's the truth. I hear people say you'll be in the system forever. You can't get a checking account. You can't blah, blah. None of that's accurate. It's 2024. I don't care who you are. You can get a Chime account. You can get a Cash App account. They don't do it. It has nothing to do with it. With, they just verify who you are. Um, you get a routing number. You get a bank account number. You get a debit card. Um, there's so many ways to get around traditional banking now that lots of people do, including criminals. So, like, it's easy. These people really will see no change in their life. Hopefully they take that money and put it into an index fund and live paycheck to paycheck like they've been doing for the next 30 years and then walk into a quarter million. Most of them will probably just fleece it away because, you know, free money is gone money. But, you know, uh, as far as any of them being prosecuted, you know, a lot will get probation. There'll be a lot that just won't even get prosecuted. It'll just be civil things. Um, but as far as these videos I'm seeing, like it sickens me, all these people, they're going to get all this jail time. No, they're not. And why do you care? Do you realize the villain in all of this is Chase Bank? The, the banks are the ones who destroy our economy every day. Did you all not watch Robin Hood when you were a kid? Who are you rooting for in this situation? Why are you rooting for the sheriff? Y'all have got to let me know what you think about this situation. What do you think about people losing their government assistance? What do you think about this man saying that not many people are going to serve jail time and most people might just get away with it? And what do you think about him saying that Chase Bank is the villain? He gave an example of Robin Hood and he said, whose side are you really on? So now that we've heard from these two people, I want to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about all of this? Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.